Hi, this is Socks and Sandals, I'm Tim B. This is an online guide for clothes shopping for dudes who don't like to go shopping. Friends, you may have seen that sock episode I did on Loot Crate. Or maybe you didn't, you probably didn't. No one's really watching these things anyway. But I did an episode on a sock subscription from the company Loot Crate that sends me these really awesome socks like this one and this one here. These are the Hungry Hungry Hippo ones. It's awesome. Oh, I really like that. I mean, these socks are pretty great if you're doing nothing but hanging around all day. However, if you wear them for long hikes or when you do manual labor, they suck. They just weren't designed for that sort of thing. They're only designed to go over your feet and look cool, but that's about the extent of their function. I'm shooting a TV series right now for History Channel called The Curse of Oak Island, and we shoot for 12, 13 hours a day, and we never stop rolling the camera. It is one of the most physically demanding shoots I've ever been on. And my socks are taking a real pounding. Enter Grip6. This video is not sponsored by them. They have no clue that I'm doing this, but I swear every fourth commercial I see on YouTube is a Grip6 sock commercial. And they wore me down and to the point where I was like, wait a minute, I actually could really use these socks. So Grip6, your advertisement worked because I'm about to buy from you. And if you're looking for a good sock, watching their video once will sell it. They do a better job at selling their socks than I do, but I'm gonna try nonetheless. Grip6 is an American company that sources all their materials and manufactures everything they make in America. And it's important to support that kind of company. You may have to spend a little bit more, but believe me, the quality is far better than when it's made in China or Bangladesh or India. Grip6 sells belts, some pretty cool wallets, and socks. That's what I'm here for, and these socks look like they're designed for the working person. Now what, one of the things that makes Grip6 different is that they use wool. Now if you're a Gen Xer like me, you think, wool, are you crazy? I'm not putting that on, it's itchy. But wool technologies have changed considerably since the 70s and 80s. Fun facts about wool, one, Wool is one of the best antimicrobial and antibacterial fabrics in the world. Two, wool wicks moisture away from your skin so well that your sock will feel and smell fresh at the end of the day. Three, Grip6 uses merino wool. That wool is the thinnest wool and it's actually stronger than silk. Four, merino wool does not itch. <laughs> God, what do you, how do you even call that stuff? Five, and this is one of my favorite facts, you can bend wool 20,000 times before it breaks, whereas cotton, it can only bend about 3,000 times. Six, it can absorb 30% of its weight before it feels damp. Seven, even when it's wet, it retains 80% of its insulation. And finally, number eight, Grip6 uses a combination of wool, nylon, and elastic to create the best sock possible. Now, Kevin from Grip6 is in a video stating, Purchasing a Grip6 sock will be one of the best decisions you ever make. Those are big words. I have made a lot of very good decisions in my life, and I want to see if buying a Grip6 sock will be up there with those other decisions. So here we go. Grip6 socks. There it is. So there are three socks on this site that interest me. Micro Crew wool socks and wool crew socks. I don't know what the difference is. You know what? I'm going to buy one of each. Medium. Oh. My. <gasps> Grip6. You're like the coolest company in the world. Look. Okay. I'm going to go for the single of those. 24 bucks. Add to cart. Okay. Let's see how long that takes to get here. I hope it takes less than a week because I don't know if my feet can go through what I've been putting it through because these ones just are so uncomfortable. Help me out, Grip6. It came in, took about a week, and I have to admit, I'm more excited about these socks than I am about anything that I've received so far. That's wool? Huh. Well, they're right when they say that it doesn't itch. That's a really soft wool. Huh. Okay. So for these, medium. 
These are, boy, that's really small. I may have got the wrong size. We're gonna have to try those on, but let's just move on. When you turn the sock inside out, you can see how it's put together. Extra padding where you need it the most, a vented toe box to help with the sweaty toes, arch support, flex panels, and a robust heel trap. The quality, I didn't know wool is supposed to feel like that. In fact, here, hold on a second. Okay. This sweater is made of the wool that I know. It's itchy. Like you can feel it's very high quality, but it feels like sandpaper. This does not feel anything like this. So look, most people just try them on and say, oh yeah, no, they're pretty great. That's where I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna wear these for five days straight. I'm not gonna take them off unless I go to bed. I want to see what these are like after a full week of using them. I'm not gonna wash them. I'm not gonna care for them in any way. I'm gonna give these the ultimate stress test and just see. And the thing that I'm actually most curious about is, are they gonna smell? Because I tell ya, the socks I've got now, it's like Satan lives in them. It does. Okay, a week has passed. Um, I wish I could have shown you what it was like, but I'm legally not allowed to actually take any photos or video of, uh, of our workplace, uh, just an NDA. But let me tell you, it was wet. We had five days of straight rain. So I was standing sometimes up to my shins in a swamp. I was always in mud. I don't think I had a single scene I shot inside. So I was outside the whole time. The mornings were very cold and the days got quite hot, like 27 degrees Celsius. Well, I don't know what that is Fahrenheit. Uh, all right, right there for you Americans. All week long, I wore big heavy rain boots, hiking boots, and steel toe work boots. And yes, I used the same socks every single day. So what was it like? At the end of the day, I was amazed that my feet were dry. And I don't mean dry from the rain, I mean dry from sweat. Like when I wear my cotton socks, my feet are really sweaty. Like, sometimes my skin gets so sweaty that in between my toes, they get so soft that it actually tears. I, I know that's really gross, and I'm only saying that because this was the first time in my life that that did not happen to me, and I was sure it was going to happen. Uh, I guess, the smell. Well, I mean, it doesn't exactly smell like petunias, but it does not smell bad. They don't smell even a fraction of what my cotton socks would smell like even after one day. They somehow kept my feet at a constant temperature, like in the mornings, it kept them warm. And then during the really hot part of the day, my feet were quite cool. Like I was always taking note and it was like a regulated temperature the whole day. I guess that's the magic of merino wool. The one thing that I'm bummed about with these socks is that on Oak Island, it's loaded with wood ticks and a lot of them have Lyme disease. In fact, many of the crew members have already contracted Lyme disease. So what we have to do is tuck our socks into our pants. That way when the ticks are trying to find their route to us, they can't actually get in. They can still crawl through. I usually put a little elastic band around there just to make it a little bit harder, but we have to do this. It's just a way to prevent ourselves from getting sick for months. These are not thick pants. These are just made of nylon. These are nylon work pants. But look, the tops slightly got stretched out. So it's not necessarily the fault of grip six because I'm not wearing the socks as they're intended, but my cotton socks didn't get stretched out even after a few months of wearing them. And this after five days, the tops did get a little stretched. This actually is not so much of a problem because they are quite long. And when they go up my leg, my calves are big enough that they will completely stay on there quite happily. So it's really not a big deal. It's just the one thing if I were to say, if there's a issue, just don't tuck your pants into your socks. And I'm pretty sure none of you are gonna be doing that anyway. Now, one thing I almost forgot to do was to see how awesome these look wearing sandals. 
hey, this is me about five months in the future. Just to show you, I put my money where my mouth is. I just bought six more pairs. I'm gonna keep a couple. I'm giving most of them away to people I work with who I noticed were wearing really crappy cotton socks and were struggling from it. Now I'm gonna go back to the past. Like and subscribe if you want or don't, I don't care. But if you do like and subscribe, I'll come over to your house and I'll find all the missing socks to make your pairs whole again.